Hey what's up my name's Lindsay and I am a self-published indie author and I've made a few videos about income and income transparency and I made one last year in 2023 about how much I made in the like six months that I had been published and now I've been published for a year and like 10 months um, and I realized that I never made a full like one year recap so I figured I would do that today. I know it's a little bit weird into the year and we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm going to tell you about my books a little bit and then I'm gonna get right into the sales numbers and how much royalties and kind of bring you along to see how much it fluctuated throughout the entire year and then give you the grand total. So last year in 2023, I had published Kingdom of Ash and Shadow, which was the first book in my kind of interconnected spicy dark fantasy series. But then in June, I published the second one. So it was right at that cusp when I did the six month income review that I had published Kingdom of Shadow and Ice, which is the second one. Uh, so these are, like I said, interconnected. The titles are interconnected, so you can see that they share a word. The third book will be called Kingdom of Ice and Nightmares. I will have them linked below. Kingdom of Ice and Nightmares should be out by the end of November, so I have not released a book since Kingdom of Shadow and Ice. But I figured this way I can show you guys what I made for the whole first year of being self-published, and then later in my career I can look back and be like well that's what I made in my first year without going into all the data and I can it'll be a fun little memory capsule moment here we go I'm gonna pull up all my stats and they are both enrolled in Kindle Unlimited so I get paid for the pages read but then I also get paid for the orders and I'm kind of just excited to see like the overall flow of it maybe I'll put a chart somewhere maybe I'll just tell you I haven't decided yet editing Lindsay can figure that one out and if you didn't know, Kindle Unlimited is through Amazon, which means I'm published exclusively as, as an ebook through Amazon. But I also decided to only keep my paperback and hardbacks or whatever also on Amazon, like the physical copies. 2023, I published Kingdom of Ash and Shadow. I had, they don't make this easy. I swear to God, Amazon, get your shit together. I'm going to read this straight from my screen. It's it's over here, I swear. Oh no, I turned my big, I turned my big screen off. Ooh, get that back on for you. Okay, so January 2023, I had 31 orders, either eback, eback. I always say an eback. So last year, January 2023, I had 31 orders, and that could be physical or ebook. And then I had 3,291 Patriots, and that came out to $136.87. And then in February, I had nine orders. So I think a lot of people were really excited to get the physical copies when I released like friends and family and stuff. Uh, so that's expected to see that drop. So nine physical orders and 4,288 pages read. So a little bit more page reads. But the royalties came out to $51.27, which if you've seen my recent income videos, feeling familiar. March, I had 18 orders and... 13,914 page reads. So it was like a big jump in page reads from 4,000 to 13,000, almost 14,000. So that's like a big jump, which I was super excited about. I remember that because I was like, oh my gosh, I got over 10,000. That's nuts. Like, that's a lot of page reads. Double, double thousand. I don't know. Anyways, March was $122.54. So I got a little taste for the three digit. <laughs> The three-figure income. I was rolling big. <laughs> I was a big baller. Okay, April. I had 23 orders. I think I had a lot of a lot more orders than I remember getting. I always imagine in my head that it was so many more page reads and 28,060 page reads. So it doubled, almost 14,000 to 28,000. That's nuts in a month. That's super cool to see looking back at that. Okay, so April I made two hundred dollars and thirty-four cents. So I was like, it's growing. I was very excited. I think I'm still really excited. I don't know why I'm like, I was excited. I'm still excited. Just looking back at this, I'm like, I can only imagine. Cause when I published, I was like, oh, maybe if I sell like a hundred books over the its lifetime, that would be super cool. Not that I was like, oh, it's gonna die really fast, but like I couldn't fathom a hundred people like reading my book. And then all of a sudden it was, I mean, if I had 30 and then nine and then like almost 20, like by, by April, almost like a hundred people had bought my book. So plus the page reads. So definitely a hundred people had bought my book by then. So that's crazy. Super crazy. May, 12 orders and 6,029 page reads. So it dropped significantly in May and I made $67.46. 
And I do remember when I made the income video for this specific month on TikTok, because I made it in June, like I made it a few days into June. It's still getting views. It's still getting likes, saves, comments. Like it's still getting traction, that TikTok that's like over a year old. But every time I see it pop up in my notifications that I get somebody liked it or somebody commented on it or somebody saved it, I'm always reminded like that was like I was riding high for a couple months and then it dropped and I was like, interesting that the low month that I reported on got a lot of traction. And actually a lot of people ended up buying my book because they saw that video. So I can't complain too much, but I think that's a really interesting just societal social media observation. When we see people struggling, I think people want to help. I hope that's how it is. I think that was kind of the case. People like the transparency, which is one reason I do this, but I'll go over other reasons that I do it at the end because I think we just don't talk about money enough. So that's mostly it, but I'll kind of debrief at the end of this. Okay, that was May, low-ish month. I mean, the last few months for me, watch this video because it's been a rough few months if you're curious about more income transparency for this year. And then I will make a, I will make a total year-end income video in January. So stay tuned for that. I feel like I'm looking everywhere. I'm, ooh, okay. I have to remember that we're on May. That's, I think that's what I'm trying to keep in my head. Okay, we're on May. Nope, I did May because May was low. We're on June. <laughs> this is what you get when you sign up for me. Sorry. Okay. June, I had 20 orders and 52,009 page reads. And June is also when I released the second book, Kingdom of Shadow and Ice. But I can guarantee you, like if I go look at the actual numbers of per book, barely any of them, maybe 2,000 page reads for the second book. It was all the first book, which was crazy because I was like, I don't know if Amazon, I'm pretty sure Amazon pushes your backlist out when you publish new books. So I think that's kind of what was happening. Also, I think I had like a viral TikTok. I know there were other factors and I could go back and watch those TikToks. So if you're curious, like what I think went into it, I think I say that in pretty much all my TikToks. So let me know if you want me to do the <laughs> research for you and, and let you know what led to sales or anything. I'd be happy to make videos like that. Okay, June was cool. I was, and that's my birthday month too. So I was like, a little birthday present to me. I actually do remember filming that TikTok as well. $284.05. I think I remember filming so many of these TikToks because they got quite a bit of traction because nobody was really talking about income. So then I was like, oh yeah, I remember getting the notification and hearing my voice like a trillion times. I'm not like, I'm not sitting there like scrolling my own feed like, oh, I remember that video. It's just strictly, I have listened to myself so much. Fun of content creating, right? Right? Okay, July. July, don't freak out. I had 75 orders. 60 of them were free. So I had like 15 orders. But yeah, no. I had 16,867 page reads in July. And then the royalties for that month were $117.49. And I'm gonna switch camera batteries. Okay, we're back. We got the batteries. And then we had August. August was 21 orders and 23,262 page reads. And that came out to $171.19. So it started feeling, I think at that point, it started feeling like it was evening out. And if you look at the graph, like obviously June was a big month, but it was like $100, $117, $171. And then in September, same-ish. September was actually really similar. Okay, another don't freak out because I don't know why I have my book for free <laughs> again. Maybe it was the other book. I don't remember. Maybe it was the book too. But I had 231 orders. It was. It was Kingdom of Shadow and Ice that I had for free. I remember that. It's all coming back to me. Don't worry. It'll come back to me. I just need to talk it through. But okay, 231 orders. 213 were free. You can do the math. I'm not going to do the math. And then September, 23,703 page rates. And then, like I said, the income was really steady. So it was $163.42 versus the month before it was 171. I can do the math. I don't want to do the math. I worked all day. And then we have October and I had 33 orders. I think that was a big amount of orders for not having a free book. Yeah, it was like the most since release. If it wasn't free, that was the most orders I got. So 33 in October, 2023. And then I had 33,499 page reads. And that was a pretty good month. I made $259.67. So I was like back into the 200s. I was like jiving, you know, I'm grateful every single month. But I think when I hit the bigger milestones, like 
Once I hit 50, I'm like, cool, I can pay for my computer programs like Adobe. Once I hit $100 in a month, I'm like, cool, I'm doing something right. People are finding it, having a good time. If I hit 200, I'm like, oh, something's popping off. I'm doing something really right and I gotta figure out what it is and double down on it. And then I hit the $259 and I was like, whoa, that's the biggest it was since June and June was 284, so it wasn't that far off. I was like, maybe I had another viral video. I know I had a couple last year for Kingdom of Ash and Shadow and that really helped. So it's really just, there's a lot of luck involved and I posted a crap ton of videos. I think I posted like three to six TikToks every single day and some of them popped off. So I guess we're having fun. Okay, November and December, got two months left. I don't want this to be a super long video, but we're gonna keep trucking. November, whoop, six orders and 19,057 page reads. That was $110.27. So it felt, it felt very in the, if I'm like 100 to 200, I'm like, yeah, that feels typical for me. So for some people, it's not. For some people, that's amazing. For some people, that's not good. Personally, I have a nine to five job. Like I said, I was working all day. I have a regular job. So I'm not relying on this income. This is definitely like a side hustle income. And I really get out of it what I put into it for the most part. Okay, we have one month left and then I'll get all philosophical on you. Okay, December, 22 orders. I don't know why I said it like that. 22 orders, 17,695 page reads. December, do-do-do. $171.75. What are those totals? Because I'm not doing the math. Were you doing the math? Were you following along and doing the math? Because I'm just going to give you the complete total numbers now because Amazon will give me those numbers very easily. So orders last year, and this includes the free ones, 501. <laughs> I like that it's over 500. That's such a round number. I love it. Okay. This is going to be a bigger number last year. Page reads. 241,674 page reads across the board all year long. That's a big number. 241,000? That's like a, almost a quarter of a million. We'll get there one day. Do I have a goal of reaching a million page reads? No. Do I think eventually it would just happen? Yeah. Okay. Royalties estimator. Last year, my first year being self-published since high school when I wrote books and then took them down when I went to college. Da -da -da -da, drum roll, $1,856.32. $1,800 on something where I was just like, this is fun. I don't know. Did you guys think that was fun? Do you like the whole year wrap up? Things I want to talk about. I have so many tabs open. I mean, in my brain and real life. Okay. Points I wrote down that I knew I wanted to talk about. But we don't talk that much about money as a society. I think it's a very, you're my dog jingling her collar. She's just, is a dog. We don't talk about money as a society very often. There's a lot of like cultural taboo around income and about salary and about side hustles and about was it profit or revenue? Like when you watch all the side hustle gurus and they're like, oh yeah, you could make... Okay, here's the thing. I was watching somebody's side hustle video the other day and they said one of the easy side hustles was writing a book and selling it on Amazon. And they were like, if you sell your book for $10, Amazon has a 70% royalty rate, which they do. That is entirely accurate. This creator does not know the nitty gritty the ins and out of the Amazon being an author. So here's my explanation of it. First thing, maybe I'll post screenshots of this because this is kind of important info if you're looking into getting to publishing and being an author and putting the info out there. So here's the info somewhere here. When you publish your book, it costs money to print it unless you're only doing an ebook. 70% of the ebook, yes, you get 70% of the ebook list price, but they also do have like a digital delivery fee, which takes a very small percentage. So you get roughly 70% of the income. Ebooks typically have to be priced above, I think it's $3.99, but it'll say on the chart wherever I put it, or the image. Paperbacks. I think this is where the creator, where their head was at. So they were like, if you sell a book for $10 and you get a 70% royalty rate, you make $7 per book. That's not entirely how it works, actually. I'm very sorry to say. First thing, you have printing costs. So Amazon gives you, based on your printing costs, a minimum price that you can set your book at. And then once you set that, they take out the printing costs and you get 70% of that. So say your book is $10, but it costs $4 to print. You have $6 left, you get 70% of the $6. I will post what I sell my book for 
and what Amazon takes and what I get and all that stuff. You get 70% of $6, you make $4.20 a book, which is a lot different than $7. And it doesn't sound like that different, but it is. Like it adds up. Like if you have to invest in like a cover designer and a formatter and all these different things, it can take a while to recoup those costs. Unless you're doing it all yourself, which pretty much I do. I don't know why I said pretty much, because I do. I do it all myself. So I'm not going into debt over publishing. That is one of my, the hills, that's one of the hills I will die on is I'm not going into debt to publish my books. Anyways, that was my rant about how to make money making books. I don't know, making money. That was that rant. That's my dog that was barking. So yeah, talking about money, I had no idea how much money I could make or would make or could expect to make from self-publishing just doing the marketing on my own. I'm not paying for any ads. If you want to know about my marketing, I have a video about all the things I do and don't do for marketing and I will link that here. But yeah, I had zero idea. I had like no following when I started my TikTok, my YouTube, nothing. So it's been a very organic growth and very interesting to see. So I think I think I like to share it so that other people might get an idea of what to expect. Although everybody's journey is completely different, your book might pop off and mine might not, and that's okay. So yeah, that was my rants and my insights into how much I made in my first year of self-publishing. Let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!